Checking. Let's start with these. I think I found a spot for some photography. Really want to up my Instagram photography game when it comes to sneaker shots. So uh, I've been looking for some decent light. I've been looking for some decent places to try and take some photos. And I think this might be quite a good one. We've got a bit of color in the terms of a bit of yellow on there. There's some yellow behind me. Or oh, we've got the sun. Might be a little bit too far away to probably catch some of these things. But I'm gonna try using them with these. I'm doing a bit of editing. Maybe. Sneaker photography, proper sneaker photography, is definitely not as easy as it looks. Especially when you're trying to do it on your own. I think I need to ask a little bit of advice from someone who's got a little bit more knowledge than me. When it comes to cameras and probably how to compose a shot, I think I need more advice. I think I need to make a phone call. Don't know who to ask. I know who to ask. Alright mate. How you doing Peter? Not too bad man. Just Excellent. Been doing a lot of photography recently? As I can see on Instagram it seems like you're doing a lot. I haven't had a photos now. Seems like you've been getting featured left, right and centre. Not, not, not too much mate, not too much. Like. I, as you well know, don't have the same skills or equipment to be able to pull off some of the sneaker shots that you've done. I've just yeah. been trying to do some of my own photography and realized genuinely not in any competition um, with you whatsoever. But I'm thinking I need some advice on how I'm gonna do it better. So what's the best bit of advice you can give me? <laughs> Basically yeah. learn, start again. Take time and like actually learn about taking photos. Okay. Like how to use the camera. Okay. Like what, what the limitations of it are. So what? You get a standard camera, you're going to be quite limited with like um, shooting in dark places and stuff okay. like that. Um, or you get your high end, okay. shoot light all day long. So what are you, what are you using now? In the minute, I'm using Canon 6D. Okay. Okay. With that looks much heftier than what I'm using, which is a G7X Mark II Canon, which is just a high-end point and shoot, <laughs> basically. I think it's like nearly, nearly professional. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't show off with your big ass camera. Um, any chance you've got any free time in the next week or so? Sounds like a plan to me. Fancy coming down here and we'll find somewhere to get some better shots of the collection that I, I posted onto my YouTube channel a couple of weeks back. Yeah, I can. Always looking for going to like different places. Awesome. It gets a bit boring, but constantly going to Liverpool. Right then. I think that's sorted. I think that's sold. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring the my pairs with me as well. Excellent, I'll get a bag full and I'll catch you on Sunday. Sounds good. Alright mate, speak to you soon. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, it's cool. Like some of the chairs and the way that it looks is all really cool. It's just like little little shops, like bookshops and trinket I, I shops and stuff. Some of these chairs. Yeah. Let's see what we've got in the in the bags.
if you're wondering what we are doing, me and Peter here are going to be doing a bit of streetwear photography, but obviously it's more about sneakers than about clothes. And um, Peter's come all the way down from Liverpool to um, teach me a few things. Now, if you haven't seen what he's done, I'm going to leave links down in the description down below to his Instagram account. Go and check out some of those shots that he's done. They are absolutely amazing. And hopefully I might be able to try my best to get something close to it in the future. We are trying our very best to find some locations to do a bit of sneaker photography. And I did a sneaker photography video a little while back using the iPhone X and uh, what it was capable of for something that's just literally like pull out of your pocket. But probably in the last, I would probably say, I'd say six months or so, I've been trying to make my Instagram a better page to go and visit a better account to have a look at and, and, and the shoe shots be a little bit more picky but with the help of Peter who's is amazing he's helping me to sharpen my tools a little bit and, and try and be a little bit better Like a Tempe coin. The way <laughs> they should be said. We've decided we're going to go and have a look at the shops before they shut. We've got 15 minutes, so time to go to Adidas. This is a quick message to Adidas. Thanks for shutting down my local Adidas store in Birmingham. I no longer have a store to visit local to me. What's your assessment of them then? The fun looks a bit cheap. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but what's the price point though? You gotta remember that. That's always that's always the sort of hundred pounds. Yeah. There you go, that's why there's no boost in the front of it then. <laughs> Oh, price. I don't know, I'm not a fan. So you add an extra £130 and have a full boost. Teach craft 4D. Oh, yes. Exactly. Forget it. These are just trash. <laughs> They're light though. Cement just sitting. Yeah, I've seen it sitting in loads of places. Shame really, but that's what happens when you retro stuff continuously. Peter, hurry up, we're gonna miss our train. <laughs> did you have another camera before starting? Like, did you have a, a like a cheaper camera or did you just go, do you know what? I'm gonna buy myself a good camera and just get oh, started. No. I had, well, the first off, I used me dad's DSLR. Okay. And daddy had, yeah. I think it was a Nikon. Yeah. Don't know what model. Binned it off. Got a 1300D mm -hmm. from Canon. Yeah. All right. Got a standard 18 to 55 mil lens on it, I think. Yeah, like a, little, like a kit lens. Yeah, thing. just a standard kit lens on it, really. So use that for a bit. Yeah. But the aperture was annoying me a bit. Yeah. So 
I've got a cheap 50 mil Canon lens, mm -hmm. 100 quid. Yeah. Fa actually a fantastic lens as well, that. Yeah. Goes down to 1.8, I yeah. think. Yeah. Aperture on f-stop. Uh, but that was brilliant. It only annoyed me uh, to stand miles back. Yeah. Being a 50 mil lens. Yeah. Which gets a bit of a pain. So then I actually bought my 35 mil Sigma yeah. on the, and used that on the 13 on, on 1300 D. Uh -huh. So the lens was like twice the price of the camera. <laughs> yeah, but then again, like after I went to that photography show at the NEC, you know, you can spend more on lenses than mm. bodies. You know, yeah. it's just. You know, at the end of the day, you can have a fairly decent camera. It doesn't have to be the top, top one unless you're doing it for a living, you know. And and as long as the lens is good and the yeah. intricacies of how they're made, it's like kit lenses are... I think they, they said to me, like, kit lenses being produced basically on a production line, yeah. whereas high-end lenses are handmade. It's borderline mm. Swiss watch making, really. Yeah, the, the bloody good, so... I thought, screw it. No, let's right, let's spend some money on a camera. So, did were you into sneakers before oh, buying the camera? Yeah. Massively. What started that then? One of my mates. Okay. It was a pair of really rubbish mesh NMDs. Okay. But the grey ones, do you remember like the, back in the day, like the grey ones, I think it's had like yeah. red little bits on the side. Yeah. That they got me in, that got me into it. Got a okay. pair of them. I presume the intention, like you say, is to just keep taking really good shots of shoes and oh, yeah. hopefully gather admirers, hopefully in the form of brands and stores and things like yeah, that. Exactly. You know? At the end of the day, you, you, you kind of sort of, as long as you have passion for it, yeah. uh, you know, you keep on doing it, the recognition becomes a bonus. So, you know, being featured, what it, wherever it may be, um, by whoever it may be, and obviously some of the features, like the the shoe box uh, seat belted up in oh, the back right, of the nice car. Variety. You know that was a great feature. That was awesome. I to see was that. was not expecting that. That was really cool. It was so long after the photo. Yeah. I put the photo on as well. What's What's the plan next? What What do you What do you want to get out what of? What do I want out? Out of photography at the moment, do you, do you, do you sort of like hope to get more gigs? Do you hope to? I'd, I'd love to be able to quit quit my job, yeah, and be a photographer full time, yeah. But I need someone to pay me to do it first. No, fair but enough. It's, it's finding that person that wants to pay you and having the skills to be able to do it. No, because at the minute I've, I've still got ridiculous amounts to learn. Yeah. when it comes to photography and editing. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I feel I'm still just, I... just scratching the surface. Awesome. Wow. It's been a pleasure. Right. It's been Go awesome. It's a good day. I'll return the favour. We'll be back in Liverpool. You need, you need to come down. Definitely. So I'm back with a fresh haircut. Yeah, I needed it cutting. It was looking really overgrown during the whole of that Sunday. And uh, yeah, um, back here in the shoe room to give you a quick idea of what I learned from the day. So I'm gonna give you some of the top tips that Peter gave me for being able to take a lot better quality Instagram photography, especially when it comes to shoes, but it can apply to streetwear and loads of other things as well. So one of the top ones that he gave me was equipment. Always have decent equipment. Now, you don't have to have the best equipment. If you're not a professional, and you're not doing it for your work, you're doing it for your passion, you can have good quality equipment and all equipment have pros and cons they have strengths and weaknesses and as long as you know what your strengths are with the equipment utilize it if you've got weaknesses they're your thoughts for when you come to purchase your next camera next tip that he gave me was looking at potentially trying to color match and use composition right ensuring that you compose your shot well you give it some depth you really have to think a lot about how you color match things and if you're wearing a shoe that has a color on it or is predominantly colored it's so good to color match with the background and your shoe being the foreground the focal point of the shot 
The next tip from him was something that I've never really had a big dabble with, and that is learn Lightroom. Now, Lightroom is an Adobe program and is part of the Adobe Creative Cloud, and it's not like Photoshop in the sense that with Photoshop, you can manipulate, you can change things, you can totally erase things and change things. But Lightroom is more of an effects thing, so it can change colors of things, it can make colors more vibrant, it can make things pop and stand out and give it an extra bit of sharpness. It's really up to you and you can spot correct as well um, colors. So yeah, learning Lightroom is a new thing for me and I've had the opportunity to have a play around with it since I've got back from that day shooting. Since we've done the shoot, we did a lot more shots whilst being in Birmingham that I didn't record. The video would have gone on too long. So I wanted to show you a couple of really good shots that didn't get posted. So one of the shots was uh, sitting on a stool outside a Five Guys restaurant in the Bull Ring and look how awesome the Soul Box Ultra Boots look with the Five Guys chairs. These are an amazing piece of color matching and super awesome shot from Peter and obviously me, the model. Another shot that has just been featured in the top 10 on High Snobiety's website for Instagram posts this week is a pair of Peter's custom yellow and black ultra boost that I was wearing whilst we were in Birmingham as well. And this shot is really, really good. Such depth, such clear color match as well. And uh, yeah, feel proud to, again, be modeling another pair of shoes that is on the top 10 High Snobiety's Instagram posts this week. I'd like to do a massive shout out to Peter Coyne for making his way down from Liverpool to me and I really appreciated all the advice that you gave me bro. I hope that everyone who's been watching has picked up some amazing little bits of advice from Peter as well. He is on Instagram at Peter underscore coin. All of Peter's information will be down in the description below so go follow his Instagram account and check out his awesome Instagram shots. I hope you really enjoyed the video this week. Don't forget to like and smash the subscribe button. I'm glad to have you guys on board following Thai Kicks and I will catch you this time next Tuesday for another video. Now a really quick one, I'm going to be launching in collaboration with Peter a Liquid Proof giveaway. And I'm gonna be giving you the opportunity to win a small bottle of Liquid Proof. We're gonna be posting our favorite raw image from the shoot on that day. And we want you guys to have a little play with it. And the best one that we pick will be the winner. So that will be going live on my Instagram account at some point in the next week. So keep your eyes peeled at T Y underscore K I X and get yourself involved. I can't wait to see what you guys can do.